Hello guys, it is L9 and today I have a video on five new walk-in pileup glitches in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. These are all solo and extremely easy to do, but anyways, I do want to talk about today's sponsor. Now, this video is sponsored by BrownMagician.com. Brown Magician is the number one trusted Call of Duty services for bot lobbies and dark ether locks and various amount of things. There has been tons of customers that were highly satisfied, as you can see with the comments up on screen, and definitely these are the number one trusted. Check it out down below if you want to get bot lobbies and weapon levels packages and dark ether and all that good stuff. So check it out down below. Thank you for sponsoring this video. That's it for the sponsor and let's get right into these five new glitches. So with all these glitches, you are going to be using the unlimited C4 glitch. So the first thing that you do not absolutely need, but it will make this a whole lot faster. It is quick revive tier two. So get that if you have tier two. Next thing is you want to get juggernaut. Once you guys get those two things you guys want to get two c4s so you guys can pick up a c4 by killing zombies or just getting 1000 salvage and picking up two of them you need at least two but you can get three if you want once you have that all ready you guys will be all good to do these five glitches the first one is going to be in the crash site located all the way over here right at this rock you guys want to crouch and look at this rock you want to continue to look at this rock and at this point you guys want to throw your c4 and then right after you throw your c4 you want to spam the button to detonate it and once you do that once it does detonate and if you have done it fast enough then you will see that you're gonna still have two c4s even though you just used one and at this point you can keep on rinse and repeating so throw that C4, spam the button to detonate it, and keep on doing that over and over and over so you can go right ahead and kill the zombies. Now with this, you do not want to turn on power. That's another thing that's very important. Do not turn on power for any of these glitches because if you turn on power, then the dogs will spawn and they will be able to get you. So keep that in mind. Do not turn on power for any of these. Now when you're in this glitch, all the zombies will pile up right around you and you can easily take them out with the C4. They should give you no problems whatsoever. Now when the Megaton spawns, he should just stand AFK. As you can see on the minimap, he is standing AFK. That is what should happen with this glitch. So this one is definitely a very good one that Megaton should just stand AFK and the zombies will just pile up around you and you can kill them with a C4. This is one of my favorites and this one's very good. Now this next one is going to be right next to this area. What you want to do is just simply follow me. Come over here, crouch, look right at this. Once you do that, you guys will be in another walk-in pileup. At this point, all the zombies will pile up all around you, and you can do that unlimited C4 glitch, where you throw it and then spam the button to detonate it, and all the zombies will die around you. With this, the Megaton will not be able to get you. As you can see in the footage, the Megaton is behind me, and he's not touching me whatsoever, and he is split. So, this is definitely a very good one, and these two are my favorites out of this list. The third one is going to be all the way over here. What you want to do is... Again, just crouch right into this rock like so, and they will pile up all around you. Once you are in this glitch, all the zombies will pile up, but with this one, the negative is that the Megaton will be able to kill you. So what you need to do with this glitch is you need to make sure you get out with the Megatons and then get back in once you kill them. Because when they split, that is what can kill you. So keep that in mind. But with everything else, you are perfectly fine to sit in this spot and do the unlimited C4 glitch. This next one is going to be a very good glitch for the X-Fill rounds. So once you guys do activate the X-Fill, what you want to do is come all the way over to this rock. A lot of these glitches have to do something with rocks. But... What you want to do is simply just come over here, crouch, look right at this rock, and then do the limit C4 glitch, and you should be able to go right ahead and go through this X-Fill very easily. You know, very, very easy glitches. Not hard to do whatsoever. Now, this glitch is only useful for X-Fill rounds, so make sure you guys keep that in mind. Use this when you need to X-Fill. So, those are the four, and let's move into the last glitch. Now, here's the last one, and you might be thinking, is this one with a rock? Yes. Yes, it is. Another rock. So, what you need to do is go all the way over to the crash site, Come all the way to his rock, crouch, look right at it, do the limit C4, easy peasy, not hard whatsoever. Now when you're in this glitch, the only negative is that when you kill that Megaton, the split Megatons will actually kill you, but the zombies will not kill you. 
So when the Megaton spawns, just get out of it, kill the Megaton, go back in, and you guys should be perfectly fine. Now with these glitches, all of these, make sure you keep in mind, you have to turn off power. So keep that in mind. Turn off power and do not keep power on or do not even touch power whatsoever when you're doing these glitches. Get your C4, go in these spots, go through rounds, have a good time, but do not turn on power. So that's it for all of these glitches. I want to show you guys five new walking piled up glitches the two first ones are my favorite out of all these so those two are just the ones that i recommend you to do the most but you guys can use these other ones as well so that's it for this glitch i want to go over five glitches and these are very good so that's it and let's get right into the trick questions so the answer to the last trick question is nine good job to rose up against right thank you so much for participating definitely it means a whole lot and thank you to everyone that does participate with these trick questions you guys have been showing me tons of support you know i try my hardest to make as many videos as possible and your support is awesome so let's go ahead and get right into the next trick question this next trick question is when does christmas come before the new year and sit down below and if the first person gets that right then you will get a shout out next video but that's for it hopefully you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe to become part of the ninja team today because no being ninja, you have to be silent, and I'm going to silent 9. But anyways, that's it. Peace. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. See you later. Peace.